This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Before we get more serious about editing in the next chapter, let's revisit properties. Now, properties were primarily set up when we created this project, and they're the things that tell us how the project is going to perform. But it is possible at a later date you may wish to modify those properties or maybe just view them again. It's up to you. We need to get into the library. So we're going to click this button right down here. And that'll take us into the project library. Choose the project that you want to view the properties of. And we got this one selected right here. Click this button right over here, which is the inspector button. And there you go. Now you've got two buttons up here, as you see. Don't go to sharing. We'll talk about that later. Go to properties. Make sure you're there. The properties of this particular project are now listed. We can see the default event, Zoo Project 1, size, frame rate, NTSC SD, surround sound, 48 kilohertz. We can come down here and actually type in some notes if we want to. There's the date it was last modified, and these are the referenced events. We have two events over here, Project 1 and Zoo Project 2. Those are the two we'll be using. Now, right now, what I did is only move two clips from the same project, so there's only one referenced event here. But as you get more complex, it will show you the events that make up this project. If you want to modify them, you can click this button right here. When you do, it opens up this dialog. What is it asking you? It's saying, I found those clips that you're using in two places. One of them's on the Macintosh hard drive in the Zoo Project 1, and one's in Zoo Video on my Snow Leopard hard drive. Which ones do you really want to use here? Now, I can change the order by dragging this one down below this one, but I don't want to do that. In other words, I'm happy with the ones it's using. But if you want to reassign which videos it's using, if you have duplicates, you can do that. Let's come down one more time to this button right here. And that button right there actually looks like a little wrench. And that's Project Properties. So now we're back into the dialog that created the document and we can make changes if we want to. You can change the name, the default event, video properties, things like resolution. Uh, you can change the audio. Maybe you decide that you want this thing to be stereo as opposed to surround sound, and you can change your render format down here. But be advised, if you do make changes to the Final Cut Pro properties of this project, it's going to have to re-render the whole project. So if you've got something really big, it might be a bit of time before you can really kind of sink in and work on it again but we can change properties if we need to for the project. Click OK to set that up. Go ahead and click the I button down here. Close that back off again. Let's go back into Zoo Project. Easiest way, just double click right somewhere, anywhere around here. In the next chapter, we're going to get into editing. Let's do this. Let's select whatever you drag down here for our fun time and get rid of both of them. And don't forget, Final Cut Pro X is one of these new programs that saves automatically. There is no save button in this program, so we are ready for the next chapter. We have our project, we know how to work with the project, we understand our properties, we're ready to go.